These are the garbage bags. They're uh, the clippings. Netflix's monster tells the story of one of the most gruesome crime sprees in U.S. history. Somebody is being killed! The dramatization explores notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer's life and the string of murders he committed from the late 1970s until the early 90s. Targeting young men, Dahmer dismembered and even cannibalized some of his victims. The series, created by Ryan Murphy, has quickly become a hit, with more than 56 million households already watching all 10 episodes. But the show has also generated controversy. Family members of Dahmer's victims speaking out, critical of the depiction and the profits being made off of their personal tragedy. In an essay for Insider, Rita Isbell, whose brother Errol Lindsay was murdered by Dahmer, says Netflix never contacted her about the series. Her emotional victim impact statement during Dahmer's sentencing recreated in the show. Jeffrey, I hate you. She says the scene brought back her pain, writing, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought it was me. Her hair was like mine. She had on the same clothes. That's why it felt like reliving it all over again. Adding, I feel like Netflix should have asked if we mind or how we felt about making it. They didn't ask me anything. They just did it. In regard to the death of Edward W. Smith, did the defendant Jeffrey L. Dahmer have a mental disease? Answer, no. Dahmer was convicted in February 1992 of 15 murders and sentenced to 15 consecutive life sentences. The case of Kevin Keith is deeply twisted and incredibly heartbreaking from all sides. Also facing backlash, Kim Kardashian's new true crime podcast on Spotify. The system tells the story of Kevin Keith, who was convicted of a triple homicide in Ohio back in 1994. In the series, Kardashian explores the possibility of his innocence. There's so many twists and turns in your case. But Quentin and Quinita Reeves, two alleged victims who were both shot but survived, insist Keith is guilty and that they never heard from Kardashian. The siblings, who were six and four at the time of the attack, speaking exclusively to DailyMail.com. Quentin saying, we saw it with our own eyes. Kevin did it, adding Kardashian did not contact us, not one time. Overnight, the production team behind the system pushing back strongly against those claims, telling NBC News they made multiple attempts to reach out to the Reeves siblings. The production team also telling us when the Reeves siblings are open to sharing their story, they are welcome to sit down for the podcast anytime. We also reached out to Netflix, Ryan Murphy Productions, and Spotify for further comment about the podcast and the series, but we have not heard back yet. When it comes to the popularity of this podcast, it's playing out a lot on social media, too, not just on TV. It is, Hoda, and that happens all the time with these shows, whether they're fiction mm -hmm. or nonfiction, yeah. right? People start generating conversation, yeah. and a lot of people on social media are too young to have actually lived mm -hmm. through this trial and this story, mm -hmm. and it has led to a kind of romanticization mm -hmm. of Jeffrey Dahmer that has left a lot of people very uncomfortable. Yeah. That is very disturbing. Yeah, that's is. the takeaway. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank, Thank you, Stephanie. Oh. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.